Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, here with the TF2, which is the Trail Finder 2 from RC4 Drive. Now, I wanted to do an update on this vehicle because I have not done one in quite some time. I've done a few run videos of it, but I never explained about some of the stuff I've done to the vehicle uh, since owning it. Uh, I've actually owned the vehicle since November of uh, 2018 when I first got it. I uh, bought it as the kit build. And at the time that I actually ordered it, uh, Hurricane Florence uh, was striking southeastern North Carolina. So it kind of put a delay on getting here. So it took two more weeks for it to get here. So not a big problem. But um, since the last time I showed the truck, pretty much was the, uh, the build process of the vehicle. I have not showed all the uh, other things I've done to it. I've done a lot of uh, cosmetic stuff. I've done a lot of scale parts and uh, some wheels and tires and a bunch of other stuff. So I wanted to go through and talk about the vehicle, what I actually did to the TF2, which makes it look so awesome. So let's take a little closer look at it, all right? So here's a close-up view of the TF2. I am very satisfied at the job I've been doing with this truck and scaling it out. That's pretty much the fun part about this truck is that you can uh, do so much customization. It's like putting a model together that actually runs and that's what I like about this thing. So I wanna talk a little bit about the truck. So uh, I'm gonna talk about what I did with the paint and the body, the scale accessories, talk about the wheels and tires and some of the other uh, performance upgrades that I made to the vehicle. So start off with the paint. I did this in an antique metallic gold with a matte clear over it. I wanted to give this uh, vehicle a dull paint look because I wanted to go with the theme I was going to go with, which was a like a 1980s theme. And if you think the 70s, 80s, usually the 70s was all about the gold and wood grain and stuff. And so I really wanted to go with an antique old look. And the, definitely this metallic, uh, the antique metallic gold uh, looks very nice, laid out pretty well. Uh, so. Another thing I did is I went back and I did some custom pinstriping here, did some uh, silver and black pinstriping all the way down and on the door here as well, uh, following along to the back as well. So let's turn it around since I can do that. And it just looks so awesome. Uh, it, I always call it the farm truck because that's what it looks like to me. It's something like you have on a farm there. But uh, yeah. All right, so let's get back to it. Now, uh, let's talk about some of the scale features I added. Of course, you see this uh, tow rope here that I actually use to kind of pull myself out sometimes when I get stuck, so the other guys will help me out on that. A uh, lot of scale stuff I put on here. Uh, so let's talk about the bed here, all right? And we'll walk into the cab here. A lot of scale little parts here in the back. Um, if I can get the camera to focus. So I got the uh, toolbox from Home Depot, which is actually just a gift card holder uh, that you can get at Home Depot. And I use it as a toolbox. I really like that. As you see, I have the RC4 drive roll bar here. Really like that. Uh, I actually put some lights on top of it. Not working lights. These were lights I had off of a toy RC. And uh, they fit on there pretty well. And it, it just looks so cool. Uh, talk about some of the other scale uh, accessory items I have. A little tool uh, tool toolbox or a little tool band thing. Uh, the Coca Cola bottles. If I can get the camera to focus, there it goes. Uh, wood uh, wood pallet that I actually made myself, and I'm gonna do a video uh, talking about how to do that. It's fairly easy and fairly cheap. Uh, did the gun rack right there, so you see the gun. Uh, as you see, there's a dashboard in there along with the driver so let's get to that let's see all right so i did replace the uh the dry uh <laughs> the uh the dash uh dashboard i went with the tamiya bruiser uh interior so it has the seats along with the floorboard and the uh the dash i don't know why i can't pronounce that right then i also did the uh scale driver here i like to call him hank this is old hank here he is the driver of the vehicle i want to do as a grandpa since i was going with a farmer look on the truck 
Now, another thing that I did to the body as well is that I actually beat up the body a little bit by uh, heating the plastic up and taking a flathead screwdriver and just kind of like making dents into the fenders. And I also went around the whole body and actually just kind of dented it up to give it more of a you know beat up look. Like this thing's been around for a while. So just the small little details that I did to the truck. Uh, point out another thing that I did was I did a chrome exhaust tip if I can get the camera to focus. Yeah, I might have to switch it over to manual mode and do this part right here. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it. Can I get it? Come on, manual mode. There, there, come on. Come on. There, well, there. So I made my little exhaust pipe out the back here. And this is actually a toilet supply line that goes on your toilet that supplies the water to the tank on your toilet there. Uh, the reason why I choose to do these is because they're very flexible. You can bend these in all types of different ways. And so that's what I did. So I did it halfway through the truck. And uh, just looks pretty cool. Plus also it's real easy to bend this stuff. So when I hit a rock or something like that, it'll actually you know bend and stuff like that. So that was a cool thing that uh, I thought was really cool that I did with that. All right, so I think that covered pretty much the outside of the body. And it switches back into automatic mode here. All right, let's talk about wheels and tires. All right, wheels and tires. I actually have upgraded my tires from the Mud Thrashers uh, to the 1.55 Boom Racing Husser MTX. These are super awesome tires, as you can see. Pretty aggressive tread, but also keeps a scale appearance. That's one of my biggest pet peeves was when I was looking for tires, I wanted tires that were scale, but also performed. Now, I'm a big fan of Super Swamper TSLs. Uh, I love those, but they really didn't fit the whole factor of scaleness. And definitely, I think the Boom Racing uh, Hustler MTX uh, these are the baby crawlers. They have them in two different two different sizes, and these are the baby 1.5s. And I really like these tires. They do extremely well in all types of terrain. Uh, definitely grips the rocks a lot better. Uh, going through the mud and your stuff, it's just a great tire. They're also made of slime snail or snail slime or something like that. So they're very sticky and stuff, and they are. I uh, also changed out the wheels. I went with a pair, uh, well, a set of the Boom Racing Steely wheels. Uh, so it gives you that old uh, classic steel wheel. These are actually three piece bead locks, and uh, they're just super awesome. As you can see, <laughs> they look a little rusted and everything. They actually came out like, uh, like a steel color, and I guess the clear coat has finally popped off and so it started actually rusting so it's not really steel it's more like a kind of like a stamp aluminum I guess I want to say but it also added a nice detail to the truck and that's what I really like about it that uh, it's like all natural well wet, wet, <laughs> weathering so I didn't have to do anything to the rims they just kind of did it theirself and I like that all right uh, let's see, what other stuff did I miss back here? Of course, my little antenna right there. And uh, in the interior, I got a Coke bottle sitting right there on the thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the body shell off and talk about the electronics and all that, all right? All right, once the body shell's off, let's talk about the electronics and all that's in the vehicle. So I first off, we'll talk about the motor. I went with the uh, RC full drive 55 turn brush motor, uh, which this motor produces a lot of torque. Sorry, the focus on my camera is just really acting up. So I'll have to switch to manual mode and uh, do this manually instead. So yeah, 55 turn motor. And then my servo is from RC4 Drive. It's the Torque Twister, or Twister I think it's called. I'm not exactly sure, I think it's Twister. Not exactly sure on how much torque it puts out, but it's good enough for me. 
Talk about the ESC, which is an Axial AE. Dash 5L ESC with light ports on it. Uh, of course, this is a waterproof. It uh, can run on two to three cell uh, lipos. It's the same ESC that is in the SCX10 II. If my camera, there, focus there. Ah, uh, yeah. I have to do a video on that because I've done a lot of stuff to that as well. But back to the TF2. Now, um, now this was the kit build, so it came with a two-speed transmission, which I absolutely love the two-speed. Uh, something about the two-speed, I feel like I just have more capability. I feel I have more control ability over the throttling and the maneuver of the vehicle. I just absolutely love it. Some people hate two-speeds, but I absolutely love the two-speeds. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the uh, the servo that. Uh, works to two speed. This is a Cyvox. Cyvox. Yeah, there goes my phone. Cyvox uh, SV0320. Uh, not exactly sure on the uh, on the amount of torque on that one, uh, but it is good enough to switch the gears for it. Uh, talk about some other upgrades that I also did to to the truck. Let's see. First off, we'll do the uh, I did the low clearance skid plate from uh, RC uh, not, uh, from Doghouse RC. Let me see if I can bump up some of the quality there so you can see it. So yeah, definitely one of the smartest things that I did on the truck because the stock one would actually catch a lot of rocks and stuff. And so by doing a low clearance one, you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, some other things I did was the uh, Reverse shackles here on the on the rear. These are from uh, Dollhouse RC. No, yeah, Dollhouse RC. Trying to think, uh, which helped it out a lot better. Also did the O-ring mod on the uh, on the axles there to uh, give a little more flexibility to it. Uh, not hard to do. Pretty simple. Uh, but overall, other than that, actually, guys. Everything is completely stock, stock, you know, stock leaks, stock, um, stock dry shafts, you know, you know, the leaves are stock, you know, the shocks are stock. So pretty much everything is stock. I have not done anything else to it, but honestly, I like the vehicle where it is now. Uh, I don't care to mess with it if I can get the camera to focus. This camera is getting. <laughs> All right, there we go, all right. So, uh, but like I said, I'm fairly happy with a vehicle. Uh, I usually don't do too much upgrades to mine. I figure my vehicle out. I guess it's because I've been in this hobby for long enough. I know how to drive my vehicles and I know the capability of what they can and cannot do and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I just <laughs> absolutely love this truck. It is one of actually one of my scaleness, one of my, like very scout out vehicles I have I mean I have a lot of other RC's that you know of course the fireboat is very scaled out but uh, yeah the Kong head sitting over there hello Kong head but yeah but this is my most scaled out one here's the body shell sitting over there hey, Hank what's going on Hank but yeah well, my friends, that is the update on the TF2, which is the Trail Finder 2 from RC Full Drive. Love this truck. If you guys have any questions about the truck, uh, maybe you know, you know you want to know about a part or the tires or whatever you want to know about the truck, hey, just comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. If I can't, you know, if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer for you guys. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next upcoming video. See y'all later.